Hello guys, welcome to techview.com, your solution providers. My name is Jack and today I have a very very interesting uh, introduction guide for you. I'm going to talk to you about uh, disk defragmentation, um, a very important utility that comes uh, in Windows. Uh, first let's talk about disk defragmentation. Okay, that is the process of uh, consolidating fragmented data on a volume, uh, such as a hard disk or a storage device, so it will work more efficiently. You see, uh, the opposite of that is fragmentation, and it happens to all, all PCs. Uh, it happens to the volume over time, um, as you save, change or delete files. And then the changes that you save to a file are often stored in a different place on the volume than the, the original file. And over time, both the file and the volume itself become fragmented and your computer slows down as it has to look in different places to open a single file. So, you see, uh, you can think of the fragmentation as a process that happens inevitably uh, to all the computers and it slows them down due to the storage or uh, the you know um, the storage or the deletion of files. Now, for those of you using Windows instead of uh, a Mac, uh, disk def uh, disk defragmentation is a utility in Microsoft Windows, and it is designed to increase access uh, access speed by rearranging the files to occupy continuous storage locations. And uh, just keep in mind that in general. Defragmenting uh, a disk, or you know, every storage device minimizes head travel, which uh, then by turn reduces the time it takes to read files from the disk. Now, since this is an important uh, issue, I'm going to show you how you can uh, optimize your disk and uh, use a defragmentation without any software. Just keep in mind that uh, this particular method, um, even though it is uh, used, vastly used, um, it is not as effective as the software. And uh, plus, you have to do it manually every now and every now and then, which is more often than you think so. So it ends up a bit tiring. Now, if you have a previous uh, version of Windows 8 such as um, now if you have a previous uh, version of Windows like uh, Windows XP or uh, Vista or uh, Windows 7 uh, then you can follow these instructions that I have for you over here uh, click the start button and uh, by clicking all the programs, accessories uh, clicking system tools and then disk defragmenter uh, or you can also um, Or you can also uh, go to the search uh, box on your start button and type in those two words, those two words, uh, disk defragmenter, and uh, click the the result. It is only one. Now another way is to go to the, your uh, PC and uh, right click to your drive. You can see here I have one drive. You can have more if you want. Uh, just right click on this drive and click properties and then this little window comes up. Go to tools and click optimize over here. Now this will optimize your computer's drivers and it can help run more efficiently but um, this does not expand further more than the drivers does so you need to do a few more things than that now what I have here today for you to show you is this software it is called Disk Keeper it is a disk, defrag it is a disk defragmentation software and is uh, in my opinion it is the best of its kind you can see uh, it runs everything um, on autopilot it does everything for you and you don't have to do anything so all you have to do is buy the product install it and then just let it do its uh, job you don't have to do 
anything afterwards. But uh, just for the record, let me give you a quick tour to the software so you know uh, what to look for. Uh, this is the main uh, landing page, you know, the home page, the home window you get when you initiate the program. Um, you can see here we are at the home panel. We have those four basic windows, the system configuration settings, the disk health configuration settings, and those two are the recent report and the seven day history report. Now, uh, you can click that to get a report of what's going on to your computer and uh, get a few uh, analytics on what's happening, you know, like uh, the fragmentation eliminated uh, on uh, the number of files and the, available and the available resources used by this keeper. The lower this number is, the better for you. It means that the software does not uh, consume uh, much of your uh, sources. So if I click here, for example, you can see that the fragmentation eliminated on this computer is um, divided by instead defrag, which is uh, the defragmentation occurring while opening a file or saving a file. And then we have the eliminated uh, fragmentation by the defragmentation of the software, which has been uh, applied to 18 files. And then we have uh, prevented fragmentation by Intellirate, to 51 uh, files, which is 4% of the total files of this computer. Um, and the total of those files is uh, 1073. Now, yeah, here you can see the benefits provided by the software. But enough with that, let's go back to home. We can go either from here or go uh, backwards. And uh, here we have the system configuration settings. Uh, you can play with those settings now. I'm at the basic window where you can see all those uh, automations that I have here. Um, let's just uh, uncheck the automatic updates and upgrades uh, because I want to see, check, and uh, either uh, you know give the uh, give uh, allowance or decline those kind of updates and upgrades for all kinds of uh, software in my computer but that's just me I mean you can click the enable button and if I go to the advanced window you can see that uh, we have many options here as to the automation of the fragmentation elimination options and the space reclamation and the drive detection um, what this basically uh, gives you is the freedom to choose what you want to do and what you want the program to do for you. Uh, you see the system configuration settings is the window that shows you what's happening with your whole system of your computer. Uh, if you want to be a bit more specific than that then you can go to the disk health configuration settings to get an idea of uh, what's happening to your disk. Now um, here we have only one disk and as you can see we have the monitor disk health enabled if I click here then I will disable the monitor disk health over here it is enabled and um, again to the advanced uh, settings we can select the method of uh, disk monitoring uh, this is this depends on what works best for you and then select the attributes to monitor uh, I think, in my personal opinion, the better you choose, uh, I mean, the more you choose, the better for your monitoring of your disk, which actually is done uh, completely by the software. And then we configure uh, email notifications, but this is not uh, that much of importance unless you use the computer for uh, business per, uh, reasons, so you get many emails. That's pretty much it. Uh, this software is a hero over here. Uh, it does everything for your disk defragmentation and it boosts up your uh, PC. It gives it an incredible uh, boost speed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will do my best to reply. For more tips and tricks, uh, visit techiv.com. And until next time, take care.